the sun is soon to set, and that means the first sip of water and bite of food after several hours of fasting for many Muslims observing Ramadan across the world. Here at Al-Masjid al Jamia, the work has started well in advance, and it's going on for the entire month of Ramadan. All right, so food is obviously key in iftar. Everyone's been fasting all day, so let's check in with the volunteers that have been preparing this food while also fasting. Now I'm making a very special drink. This is for very special drink for only Ramzan. This drink is very famous here. You like it. It's a famous Pakistani drink. It is... Yeah. Paija. See here, the color is changed now. We are all thirsty right now. So I'm putting the hair. But facing that thirst while fasting and preparing to feed hundreds, the ultimate sacrifice. Me, 11 month, I'm a laziest person in my house. My wife complained, you are asleep all the time. Somebody grab this. But for one month of the year, Karam says he's completely dedicated to this masjid and the hundreds coming through the doors for iftar. All of this food, all of the preparation done as an act of service. Everyone has a hand in it. So, 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 so when you eat that piece of fruit, somebody put it there. When, uh, when, you're, when you're drinking the chai, somebody took the time to, to make sure that the right balance of milk and tea and sugar. And it has a cardamom, milk, sugar. It helps to boost your energy. After the Ramadan, you're a little bit dimmed. So after your meal, you need a little bit energized for praying. We make it almost 300 cups for everybody. Uh, without tea, you cannot make your day. Those 300 plus cups, along with the food you see here, feeding those who need it most. The number used to be in the 200, 250 range was sort of the average, and it seemed like a lot of people then, but now it's amped up to a higher number due to the fact that we have a lot of newcomers, we have a lot of refugees. We feel so good whenever we come here because we are Muslims, so we have to break our fast, and in, whenever we come here, we they really, they are really good. They, their hospitality is also so good. Now the fruit, the chai, and the sherbet you just saw, that's just the beginning. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> oh, you're in for a treat today, guys. Yeah, it's a big treat But first, prayer. <laughs> and then the meal. <laughs> and then some more prayer. <laughs> Giving thanks for the ability to share in a free meal prepared by dozens of generous volunteers. We are like a family. Without love, you know, the, uh, the, there's really nothing. And there's a lot of love in this place. Zara Premji, CBC News, Vancouver.